ever looked at your Mac and thought, why is my storage full again? You open photos and boom, thousands of images from your iPhone are taking over your Mac space. Good news, you don't need to delete your iCloud photos to fix it. Today, I'll show you how to remove photos from your Mac without deleting them from your iCloud safely and easily. Stick around to the end because I'll also show you a secret tool that cleans up even more junk. But first, if you want more Mac tips that make your digital life easier, hit that subscribe button. Now let's dive right in. Here's what's happening. If iCloud Photos is turned on, your Mac automatically syncs all photos and videos from your iPhone and iPad. Sounds convenient until your Mac starts slowing down, drowning in photos you barely look at on your computer. So you want to keep your photos safely in iCloud, but free up your Mac space. I'll show you three smart ways to make it happen. It's like telling your Mac, stop syncing photos. I don't want them here anymore. Here's exactly how to do it. Go to System Settings and click your name in the sidebar. Select iCloud from the list. Click on Photos. Turn off Sync This Mac. This is the crucial step because you're breaking the sync connection. And now your Mac and iCloud are independent. Changes on one won't affect the other. That means you can delete photos from your Mac without touching iCloud. So now open the Photos app, click Add It, then select All or just press Command A, hit Delete or right click and choose Delete Items. Now this is important. Click Recently Deleted in the sidebar, authorize it with your password if needed, and then click Delete All in the top right. And just like that, those photos are gone from your Mac, but completely safe in iCloud. Now, quick tip, if you also want to free up space in your iCloud account, there's a smarter way than just deleting photos. Try Clean My Mac's Cloud Cleanup feature because it connects your cloud account and helps you quickly remove the largest and oldest files you don't need anymore. And the best part is that you can try Clean My Mac for free for seven days and test Cloud Cleanup. See how it works for you. Next, method two is perfect if you actually want to use photos on your Mac for editing, but just want it off your internal drive. Here's what you need. An external USB or Thunderbolt drive with enough space formatted as APFS or macOS extended journaled. Then you need to plug in the external drive, go to your pictures folder, drag your photos library to the external drive, and once it's copied, delete the original from your Mac, hold option and open photos, then choose the new library on the drive. Next, go to Photos, Settings, General, and click Use as System Library. That's it. Photos still sync to iCloud, but now they live on your external drive, not your Mac. And the third method is for you if you want the best of both worlds. Access to all your photos, but without hogging storage. Here's how. Open Photos, Settings, iCloud tab, and enable Optimize Mac Storage. Done! Your Mac keeps smaller versions locally and downloads high-res photos only when you need them. You could easily free up 50, 60, or even 70 gigabytes depending on your library size. Now, here's a bonus tip that goes beyond just photos. While we're talking about freeing up space, let me show you something powerful. Even after optimizing your photos library, you ha probably have duplicate images and similars scattered everywhere, not just in photos. Screenshots and downloads, random images and documents, duplicates you didn't even know existed. This is where Clean My Mac comes in. It has a feature called My Clutter that scans your entire Mac and finds duplicates and similar images wherever they're hiding. Here's how simple it is. Open Clean My Mac, click My Clutter, then Scan. It'll hunt through your drive and show you exactly what's taking up space. Click Review All Files, go to the Duplicates tab, select the duplicates you want gone, and hit Remove. Do the same for similar images, and that's it. You can free a lot of space doing this with pictures you completely forgot about. You can try Clean Mac completely free for seven days. I'll put the link in the description. So there you have it. Three ways to remove photos from your Mac while keeping them safe in iCloud. Unsync completely if you want them gone. Move your photos library to an external drive. Optimize storage if you want the best of both worlds. And don't forget to run Clean My Mac to catch those hidden duplicates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.